Welcome to the instructional portion of the video. You can get tabs and backing tracks if you go to my website, www.erichaugenguitar.com. Let me briefly talk about the tools I'm using to make the sounds I'm making today. This is an early 90s uh, Telecaster 52 reissue made in Japan. I'm using the bridge pickup. Going into my board, I'm using my Strymon Deco for crunch as well as slapback, and I'm using my Strymon Flint for reverb. I'm using a Dusky D20 head into a tweed cab loaded with a Weber 15-inch Alnico speaker and mic'd up with an SC Electronics passive ribbon mic. That's what we're hearing. Now let's learn stuff. All right, this song, fun song, it's pretty simple. It's F sharp minor. Now, what's going on behind it is that, you know, the other instruments are doing a minor line cliche. If you wanted to imply that, you sure could. I mean, he's going to do it later in the song, but if you want to start there, it's F sharp minor, so that's 4-2-2. Two, two. Back it up to 3-2-2. Two, 2-2-2. Two. Two, two, two. One two two. That's kind of what it's over, and all Mark is doing, very clever, just aggressively. <laughs> two. Four two two. <laughs> and then four four. The song actually interestingly moves from F sharp minor just up to G. So that's all he does. That's just, you know, a G bar chord. And it goes back. Before it gets to turn, it repeats it, and then I am a rain dog too. That is four, three, four. That's on the A string. Change strings. Seven, six. Now we're in the B section. Now he's going to play the the line cliche. So four. Those are all twos. Now he's going to move the top note. That's two two one, and then two two zero, and now that we we don't have a lower note there, we can't get an E flat, so it's over here. That's what he has there. Now notice how I'm stopping it. I'm not going. It's so staccato. It's very staccato song. Now, it's implied that, that it's a C-sharp 7 chord, which the full chord would be flat across the 4s. Not all of them. Don't bar all of these when playing a C-sharp 7. 4, 6, 4, 6. So, but Mark's only grabbing the, the, these uh, kind of middle zones on the D, the G, and the B. And it goes back around, but he changes it every time a little bit. Now the note is on the lower side that he's moving. Three, three, two, two, one, oh. And then again, that C sharp seven. This is the best one. That's the most Mark Rebeau thing in the whole thing. So it's still the same idea, that kind of going down, but, you know, you could hybrid pick it, too. Let's see. Which he very well may be doing. Um, but what it is, is you got that F sharp minor for jump, and then you back up to the one, one on the high E to three there. That's just an octave leap. Two, oh, two, another octave leap. That's a really clever thing. And then he lands on that root of the C sharp and then does the same. That's, that's the best lick in it. Or, well, I don't know what the best lick in it, but work on that because that's a really cool idea, the way it goes up and down and up and down. It really gives it that carnival sound. Now it comes around again. So it's similar, doesn't have quite as many leaps. And then B minor, you know, it's implied that it's that, but I only hear, you know, that's kind of grabbing the nine and the seven there on the D and the G. 
to F minor, or sorry, F sharp minor, and then a G sharp seven. That's that's kind of getting to the cadence of the chorus. He's just gonna spell it out for you a little bit. Four, skip to six on the what is that? The D, five, seven, yeah. And then he's if the song goes to C sharp seven. He's gonna walk down a minor scale. Four, two, o, oh, four. Then the whole thing loops around again. And just for funsies, I went ahead and kind of did the vocal melody that Tom is singing. So that's just I'm you know he's bark singing it. So you can kind of put. It's really all about the rhythm. Uh, I grab it with my thumb. Four and two. Two and two. Back it up to one. Four, two. So that's three rain dogs. That's three on the D. Goes around again. And then instead of going, doing the turnaround there, I kind of went up high. Again, just to be silly. So I'm thinking, oh, because the turnaround is on a C sharp seven. There I am at a C sharp chord, a C sharp seven, and I kind of open it up a little bit. So I got starting on my D string, 11, 10, 0, because that's actually. That's the seventh of the chord. You can get away with that. Uh, and then a nine up top. Makes for a cool, yeah, cool chord. Back up just the lower part. One fret, yeah. And then I kind of did in thirds there. Rain dog true. So that is uh, on the B string there. Ten, nine. Nine, seven. And I'm just landing on an F-sharp minor chord. Boy, that sure looks a whole heck of a lot like a D minor. Uh, but we are up here at 6, 7, 5. That's how I did that. Well, that is full of twangy goodness. Good luck with that, and thanks for watching.